Hi everyone, welcome to the So Essential vlog. I'm Lucy and I'm here today to share a fab new pattern range that we've added to our website recently. So we have added, drum roll, style art patterns to the website guys. So there's 31 designs to choose from. I'm gonna give you a little bit of info about the company, their sizing, and then I've picked out a few of my favorites. Obviously I couldn't show you all 31, um, but we will show you the others at the end of the video. So if you stay tuned if what I've picked for you today isn't your cup of tea there may well be something else and you'll see the full range at the end of the video as always I've picked out fabrics that I think we would work well with them that we've got in stock as well so I'll pop links to the patterns and the fabrics below as usual you can find everything in the full style like pattern range on our website so it's very exciting and I'm really pleased to talk to you about these today. So Stylark is an Australian brand so more difficult to get hold of in the UK which is why it's great that we're now stocking them. Um, the lady who designs them has went to fashion college and then she has actually worked in industry as well so she mentions that when she talks about her brand and the fact that you know she she understands how garment making happens in industry and she's used a lot of that experience and knowledge in the design of her patterns and that she her patterns are drafted by a skilled team of tailors and pattern makers so it just gives you that confidence that um, you know people really know what they're doing when they're designing these patterns um, the sizing chart is a little bit more detailed than on lots of patterns so in addition to your your, your usual bust waist and hip measurements you also get a shoulder breadth measurement and an upper arm girth measurement so certainly the shoulder breadth one for me um, I have a lot of fitting issues in that area I'd be really keen to try one of these patterns and see how that works out for me and if that makes any difference so that I don't have to you know um, fiddle around as much with patterns so I'm quite keen to get on and try that and just to give you a feel for the size range it is quite a good size range they generally go from a 4 to a 30 as I always say please do check on the website and check the details um, but the size four runs from, this is in inches, a 13 and a half inch shoulder breadth. Um, so that will mean from the neck to the end of the shoulder. Um, a 10 and a half inch upper arm girth. So that will be round your upper arm. A 30.3 inch bust. So I'm not sure what the 0.3 means, whether she means three eighths of an inch there. She's converted from centimetres so to inches. So there's some decimals on the uh, size chart, but you can always check the centimetres as well if you want to. But it's just over a 30 inch bust. 23 and a half inch waist and a 30 just over a 32 and a half inch hip that's for the size four and then they go up to a 30 which is a 19 and three quarter inch shoulder a 16 and five eighth inch upper arm a 58 and a quarter inch bust 50 and a half inch waist and a 61 inch hip and the patterns come in two size ranges each pattern does so I think it goes like 6 to 14 maybe and then 14 to 30 but again you'll you'll find details of that on the website so yeah some interesting information there to start with a little bit of a different way of approaching fit um, and also nice to hear about that industry background but also the designs are fabulous there's some really lovely ones I've picked out for you today so the first one I want to show you is the Asher dress um, which is a very modern looking midi dress it's a regular fit so it's not a very very sort of fitted dress there is a bit of room in there quite a bit of ease it's got a blues on bodice a flowy skirt and it's got a shirred waistline and then if you make the long version um, long sleeve version it's a shirred cuff so I thought well that's quite a nice technique to try some shirring we stock shirring elastic if you need it um, but that's quite a nice technique to do and it's just a nice little interesting detail on a garment um, and then there's also the option for a sleeveless version as well and it can be made in fabrics like silk and rayon and georgette 
so um, on the pattern packet they've got a lovely leopard print version which I love and I just think it looks like a very I think they've made the suggestion you can dress it up with heels and you know make it look quite dressy but then equally you could wear it with a pair of pumps or sandals or sliders and give it a much more casual day wear look you could go for a plain or a print but in this instance I thought this print would work really well for this dress and this is a viscose chalet lawn so it's nice and lightweight and it's got good movement and drape because it's a chalet lawn as you can see um, it's that emerald green sort of print with this um, black design on it and I just think that would look really sophisticated made up into one of those dresses I think it would work very very well indeed and it's a nice change from florals and I think it would take you through the seasons as well I could imagine wearing that in spring summer and autumn maybe not winter because it's light lightweight but um, yep so that would be my choice and that's the Asher dress then the next pattern I want to talk to you about, I'm also very excited about, it's the Monty shirt and dress. So um, I've been totally obsessed with making shirts recently and I think I might have to make another one now I've seen this pattern. Again, really modern um, looking garment. So there's an option for, it's got a deep yoke at the back, it's got an extended shoulder line. So there aren't, it doesn't look like there's any separate um, sleeve pieces. It just sort of is a grown on sleeve. And then um, it's got a revere collar. So that means you've got a collar there and then like a little lapel almost there. Um, it's got pocket flaps, which I just think always look nice and modern and add a little interesting bit of detail. The dress goes below the knee and has got sl side slits. So again, very, very on trend. I can imagine that being worn with a pair of slides sliders um, and then the button the shirt finishes on the high hip and it's a square sort of boxy shape so again very very modern very on trend um, I really like the suggestion on the pattern packet of the button placement as well I've never thought of doing this I've seen it I don't know why I've never thought of it but they've suggested spacing the buttons so they're in pairs which I thought was quite a nice idea as well and you can make this up with linen, crepe, silk, rayon, those sorts of fabrics. What's nice about these patterns as well is that she's thought about how they work together. So she makes suggestions with each of the patterns for another one of her patterns that you could pair it with. So here she's suggested styling the shirt with the Q pants, which is another one of her patterns. Um, so you can create a wardrobe. I think that's quite nice and well thought out really that you can use them together and they can work together. And the fabric I chose, I'd make the shirt and although I probably won't make another shirt in this fabric, I thought you might want to. And I thought this sage green or fern green, I think it's called on the website, colorway would be really nice for that. And I used it for this blouse and it worked really well. It's, um, it is a polyester fabric, um, but it um, washes really well. Uh, it doesn't really need ironing, which is great. So um, that's, you know, just a real plus point for me in terms of practicality and wearability. And it did work very well on a shirt blouse pattern where you want nice crisp, crisp corners and that sort of thing. Obviously I used interfacing um, with it, but I just thought it sort of pressed really well and it did work very well on the, you can see the collar points there. A nice and sharp you know um, so yeah I thought that would be a great one for that Monty shirt and dress pattern for the shirt version. The next pattern I want to show you is the Bishal knit tee so okay everyone's brought out a knit t-shirt pattern you know all the indie pattern makers have there's plenty of them out there but I do think this has got some nice interesting little twists on it so instead of having a side seam it's got a seam that comes forward and then it's also got a panel down the back. Um, it's an angle, angled front seam, it's called, the, the, that mitigates the side seam and comes forward. And then it's got the um, back panel where you could use a contrast fabric or lace, for example, just to add a little bit of interesting detail at the back. Um, it's got the extended shoulder line again, so no sleeve pieces, so nice and easy. And then it's finished with a band. 
Um, and I just think, yeah, it's just a nice take. If you're going to take the time to make a t-shirt, it's quite nice if you can make something a little bit different and add, put your own stamp on it. So you could do a little bit of colour blocking at the back if you wanted to. Um, or potentially you could do the back piece in one colour and then do the front piece in another colour and then match the contrast band on the back to the front piece. Um, so you might want to do monochrome or something along those lines or you might have two colours that work really well together. I thought this would work well in our Cadiz fabric which is a cotton jersey fabric by John Caldor extremely good quality washes and wears beautifully available in a wide range of colors so i realize that this bright orangey well it's called tomato red but i think it's more of an orange realize this might not be everybody's color um i love it personally and i think a t-shirt in this just worn with jeans would look super modern and um yeah just make me feel nice and bright when i put it on but we have got a, a range of colors in this so that we've got some more neutral colors like black black and white and navy um, but there are some nice striking bold colours as well to choose from and then the next pattern I wanted to talk to you about is the Como knit top so again another knit top pattern but again with a bit of a difference so I just think there's some you know a lot of this they're very clean simple lines but they just seem really well thought out um, this for example has got a V at the front which is designed to hug your body so it's not gaping at the front it sits nicely and I think that's partly due to the fact that it's got a raised um, neckline at the back so it will hug around the back of your neck and then at the front of your body again the simple sort of grown on sleeve so very very straightforward it's designed to have some shape over the body but not too much it says so it's not going to be a skin tight um, figure hugging t-shirt but it's not going to be overly boxy or oversized either it'll just sort of have some shape and skim over the body um so yeah again i just think another great sort of little twist on your standard t-shirt if you're going to make the trouble of making one and i've chosen another color in the cadiz fabric for that which is this beautiful jade green which again i absolutely love and i think the thing to remember with some of these brighter colors as well is that they look like a lot on the bolt but when you if you make a t-shirt out of them and then pair them with something quite neutral like a pair of jeans you know it, straight away it's less colour so um, but it is a really nice way to just brighten things up I'm a massive fan of bright colours and I've got those in my wardrobe so yeah that's why I wanted to share those and then the next pattern I wanted to share is the Sorrento skirt so I love this again I think this is very very on trend it's a midi length it's um, got an asymmetrical it's got a, a standard hem but it's got asymmetrical flounces that come down um, the skirt it's got an elasticated waist and you can make it in wash linen, silk, rayon or knit fabrics or anything similar to those. Um, so yeah, I do think it's a very sort of now looking pattern. There's been lots of these midi length skirts about and people are wearing them with white, classic white pumps or trainers and um, sliders, that sort of thing. So I think it would be a nice sort of everyday wear item as well. If you made it in a play, maybe one of the plain knit fabrics, you could probably use the Cadiz for that or... We might have some more suitable plain knits on the website. You'd have to have a get on and have a look. Um, but, you know, paired with a simple T-shirt and some pumps and a denim jacket, be a nice casual look. But then you could also make it in something a little bit more fancy, like this Hermione fabric, which I've chosen, which is a John Caldor fabric. Um, I've made jumpsuits in this before and can't remember what else I've made in Hermione but it's a lovely, it's a polyester fabric, it's a lovely weight, it's got lots of lovely movement and drape um, and it feels nice and silky soft against your skin. I think it'd work beautifully on those flounces and ruffles and it's just like a nice tropically print that you could pair very easily with a white t-shirt but again i think if you wore that with a white t-shirt and a denim jacket and a pair of white trainers 
because it would be totally wearable for every day but it would just feel a little bit different a little bit special not like you're just putting on the same old things again and again so yep yeah, that would be my choice for that one and then finally the nova midi dress is the other option uh, other pattern that i've chosen so this is a chuck it on over your head job no fastenings it's a very sort of boho style dress with um, a tiered skirt it's got a double body so i think she means it's self-lined um, and there's an option for a maxi dress or a shorter dress which looks like it comes just above the knee um, and the shorter option you just leave one of the tears off so dead easy to wear dead easy to sew by the sounds of it I think she gives yeah she does give all of her patterns a um, sort of challenge level key if you like so there's easy ones medium ones challenging and experienced sewer patterns this is what she calls a medium one um i think it's got it has got little bust starts as well so you get a little bit of shape in the bodice and i thought that this would look great made up i'll probably make the shorter version to be honest i'd probably make the maxi version maybe in a plane and then I'd be tempted to make the shorter version in this lovely animal print fabric. I really love this one. Um, so it's a polyester Lena crepe. Um, again, very similar to the Hermione, similar weight, similar sort of silky soft. It's not a shiny uh, satiny finish. It's a matte finish, but it feels very, very soft um and i think that would work well as well for the sorrento skirt which was the previous pattern i showed you could interchange these fabrics for those two patterns um but yeah i think the dress would look great made up in this think it would work really really well and again you could do the whole wear it with trainers or sliders and a denim jacket to dress it down but you could certainly dress that one up as well so i hope you've enjoyed that as i said there are 31 patterns so we'll do a little slideshow now of the rest of them in case what i've picked out isn't your cup of tea but i hope you've enjoyed that today everything i mentioned as i said at the start of the video is available on our website you'll find links to our website below and if you like what you see today please like and subscribe and i'll look forward to seeing you next time